so today we're gonna talk about the brand new mage class and I am currently level 158 and I do think that the class have quite some potential um, however it is one of the most difficult class to play in maple and I will be going through some of the important skills that you should know and also maybe the sequence of the skills that you should use and maybe later on I will talk a little bit about what hyper skills to add okay so let's get started so this is one of the important skills that you should be casting for your sustained damage and this is the train wreck it is a independent skill that's what I like to call it that's because you can cast it and then it will still continue to attack while you do your own basic attack. It does use quite a lot of psychic points and it is a stationary attack that means you, once you cast it and the boss moves away, it does not follow the boss. The next one is Mind Quake and this is basically a debuff for the boss or whatever mobs that's standing on top of it and what it does is it reduces the physical and magic damage reduction of the target and the next attack is Mind Break and what it does is it gives a 30 seconds um, MD buff depending on your stacks and you can stack up to 5 depending on the number of uh, mobs you attack if you hit a boss, you immediately get full stack and you can actually cut down the cooldown of the skill to 30 seconds with your hyper. That gives you 100% uptime of this buff. Psychic Charger is one of the best um, skill for psychic points regeneration and that's because its cooldown is one of the shortest. You do actually want to abuse this quite a lot. BPM is one of the other important skills that you will use for DPS and it is a on-off skill which drains your psychic points when you use it but it does not drain your psychic points when you are AFK Next is Psychic Clutch and this is your main attacking skill and it's also used to regenerate your psychic points too and we also have this psychic shot which a lot of people don't actually know how to cast it so what you do is you just press psychic clutch and the up button at the same time and that's how you get psychic shot Mental Tempest is your level 150 hyper scale and it is one of your burst scale it gives you invincibility too and you can actually cancel the skill using jaunt and so you must be wondering why you want to cancel the skill and that's because it will continue attacking the mobs and you can cast your basic attack on top of the damage that it's doing and that will grant you even more dps and lastly there is the level 200 um, skill which helps you recover your psychic points too but i don't have info about that now Okay, so now let's move on to the skill wheel that I'm using and this is not the final skill wheel because I am still trying to test it out myself. This is my current bossing skill wheel and there are lots of skills on this skill wheel and some of them I actually preset. I am not going to go through every single of the skills but I will be showing you guys what are my presets and these are my current presets I have preset the floor buffs together and I also preset my 150 hyper with jaunt so that I can cancel it to do DPS the top preset will be left for my v2 skill along together with the psychic assault and I will place that um, preset onto the current placement of the Psychic Assault. The other two um, empty slots are for my V1 and also for the level 200 um, skill. And then my level 170 stun skill will be placed on the back page. 
This is my current mobbing scale wheel and I basically only put one scale that uses a lot of psychic points and that's the train wreck. I did put a lot of um, psychic point recovery scales that include the psychic charger which is really useful and also the mental tempest which is the level 150 hyper. I actually do not put BPM on my pet auto buff because I'm trying to conserve psychic points but I do have a friend who actually does that and maybe you guys can try it out. Now for the hyper scales. So the hyper scales that I suggest um, using is the psychic crap boss point which actually increases your recovery rate of psychic points and of course this FD for psychic crab and the extra strike to get 11 hit counts and then the last two hyper scales I suggest is mind break cooldown cutter and mind break enhance so mind break stacks up to 5 times of 5% MD and this 20% is on top of whatever your stacks are so that's pretty good this is the skill rotation that I suggest you use before the boss appears and also when you have short breaks like DR. This is the sustain attack rotation. And also other skill rotations that could be possibly used. I'm gonna show you guys how that pre-rotation looks like. 